kind of a cool word. We're going to talk about amphoteric species. Uh, before I let the cat out of the bag, I want to show it to you and then you'll really, really understand it. Just a reminder, an acid donates a hydrogen, a base accepts a hydrogen. Um, so I wrote my example in this first equation up here. The nitric acid that is going to donate the hydrogen, water is the base, is going to accept the hydrogen. So we come over here, you can see, yep, sure enough, nitric acid lost that hydrogen, becomes nitrate, that's the conjugate base, and um, the water accepted the hydrogen, so that becomes a conjugate acid. As you look in the reverse direction, you can see the base that's going to accept the hydrogen, and this um, acid is going to donate the hydrogen. Um, it's important to have these labeled. I've done the rest of these with just some shorthand to save some time. Um, A is acid. Let me put this here. A is for acid, B is for base, CB is conjugate base, and CA is our conjugate acid. Okay, uh, so let's look at this second reaction. Um, the ammonia is the base, is going to accept a hydrogen. Yep, gains a hydrogen. The water is the acid, is going to donate a hydrogen. So I have one less hydrogen now. If we turn around here, go in the reverse direction, yep, sure enough. This ammonium is going to donate the hydrogen. We give the hydrogen back to the water. And the hydroxide is going to accept that hydrogen. So that's your conjugate base. Now, just looking at these two, I want you to zero in on water. What do you notice? Here, water is a base. And here, water is an acid. Water can act as both an acid and a base. Books and books and books have been written about water. Water is amazing on so many, many different levels. This is one of them, pretty cool. Water is amphoteric. What do you think that means? It's both an acid and a base. So let's write that down. Amphoteric simply means a species is both an acid and a base. And I could say it acts as both an acid or a base. It depends on what it's with. It depends on what it's with, if it acts like an acid or a base. So those two right there, there's your acid, there's your base, same species, is amphoteric. Those are amphoteric. Let me give you another example of an amphoteric species. Um, okay, so I have my sulfuric acid. Now this is a diprotic reaction, and you'll recall that um, when you have more than one hydrogen, um, the hydrogens will always lose one at a time. They each have their own reaction, their own step. If you have questions on that, um, under acid base, the playlist, watch my polyprotic video. Okay, um, but I'm going to focus on amphoteric for this. So we have the sulfuric acid plus the water. There's your acid going to donate a hydrogen. You can see it. The base going is water going to accept a hydrogen. So then I have what's called hydrogen sulfate plus hydronium. Okay, so we lost one hydrogen. Now this species right here is going to lose a second hydrogen. So this does its own separate new chemical reaction. Um, so this species, the hydrogen sulfate, is going to react with the water that's in that solution, that's in the beaker, and it's going to donate a hydrogen. It becomes sulfate ion, and the water, of course, is the base, it accepts um, it accepts the hydrogen to become hydronium. So look at those two reactions. Can you see an amphoteric species? Something that, that is both an acid and a base. I bet you found it right here. Hydrogen sulfate here. Notice as you go in the reverse direction, that is going to accept a hydrogen. That's a base. And then here, oh, when it does its own separate reaction, it's an acid, acts like an acid. So when you have polyprotic um, reactions, they're going to have species that will be amphoteric, that they act as either a base or an acid. They could donate that hydrogen or they could accept the hydrogen. Donate acid, accept would be the base. Um, and it doesn't matter that the word conjugate is in front of that. This is a base, that's an acid. So hydrogen sulfate is an amphoteric species. It can act, depending on the reaction, it can act as either an acid or a base. Okay, cool. All right, have a good day. Again, if you have other questions, look at the playlist from Lean Think under Acids and Bases. Thank you, have a wonderful day.